going to take this opportunity to uh, <clears throat> share my lesson learned on aircraft ownership. I am not an AMP. I'm a relatively new aircraft owner, three years into ownership of a Carbon Cub FX3 from Cub Crafters. It's got a Lycoming IO360, which is modified. Cub Crafters calls it a 363i. <clears throat> Fuel injected cause of speed prop. Excuse me. Um, so one topic I just want to bring to your attention to help my fellow owners just to uh, get more educated, take this information, run with it, go study it, go ask somebody, get an, get an AMP to help you if needed. But the two topics for this quick video is idle mixture and idle RPM. So let me just show you um, where they are. So you got the left side of the engine here. I've got all the, I'm doing some maintenance. Um, but what you've got here, make sure you can see this. I guess if I look from the back side, that'll help. Um, so you've got this little knob. All right, so we're on the lower left side. Um, and if you've got an FX3 like me, you can get in through the left gill. You don't have to decal for this. But this little dial, which clicks, and uh, there's a spring on the opposite side here. But this is your idle mixture. Now, Cub Crafters set mine uh, quite lean. Uh, the previous one, my previous plane, I had to make an adjustment. And uh, um, in my opinion, and also talking to Lightspeed recently in an issue with my ignition, um, these engines tend to run rich at idle. Now when taxiing, uh, I learned um, you should be leaning out, and some will say they'll lean aggressively, to try to prevent fouling plugs. Um, uh, what I like, how Cub Crafter set this one is, is it is, it's on the lean. It is properly set, at least, and it all depends on your density altitude. So they set it at Yakima, which has worked well for here in Virginia. I'm sea level, but um, uh, really can't tell, I really can't see much of an RPM rise when pulling the mixture, yet I still do. I'll pull it probably halfway out. Um, as I do want to avoid fouling the plugs. And it depends whether the engine's cold or hot. That's going to make a difference as well. Um, but you can adjust your mixture by slowly changing that dial and testing. But uh, again, from what I've learned is these engines like to run rich and in my opinion um, will not uh, run stable um, if flooded. All right. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about is an adjustment I just made, which is idle RPM. So I'll show you where you do that. So this is your throttle stop. Um, and then down here is a screw with a spring. And just by um, um, screwing it in or out, um, you'll adjust your idle RPM. And you can see how the throttle stop. Um, so if it's screwed in more, um, it's going to be away, um, and that'll make a uh, faster idle. So just a quick topic on um, idle RPM. When I was troubleshooting my ignition and really just testing the engine thoroughly at idle, both in left ignition, right ignition in both, um, Cub Crafters had my RPM set around 550. And in my opinion, that's just too low. Well, where should it be? And remember, I'm not an AMP, I'm not an expert on these engines, but in my opinion, you should find your minimum idle speed in which your engine runs reliably. So in left, in right, in both, throttle full aft, uh, mixture set properly. Where will it idle and continue to idle at the lowest RPM? Uh, Lycoming actually recommends, I believe, 700 to 800. There was a discussion from a, uh, a fellow FX3 owner that actually had a uh, engine fail on uh, base to final, I think it was. Um, so this has kind of become a sensitive topic to get the idle RPM to where um, if you are not windmilling, maybe you're pulling the nose up or if you're on the ground or roll out, there was another FX3 owner um, with a couple year older FX3. Um, he had an engine failure on rollout. Um, so, and I believe it was just flooding itself out. It was mixture too rich, and there might be more involved in that. So, I have now set my RPM to 650. Initially, I made a change. That set screw is quite sensitive, so I'd say about a quarter of a turn at a time. Um, run it, check it when it's hot, and uh, 
So I'd actually gone up closer to 750, 800, and I went and flew, and now I'm, do, I'm going idle on base and checking my RPM and seeing what kind of RPM I'm getting on base, um, for example, or final, whatever. But how is it affecting your idle RPM in flight? But after coming back, before shutting down, the engine's hot, going left and right, realizing at 550 my engine was not going to continue running. Um, it would probably idle for a minute or two and then want to quit. Um, so now I'm at 650, so I finally have it dialed in where I want my engine, which again is where it will idle uh, consistently and uh, reliably. And uh, for me, um, my goal or where I'm finding it working for me is 650 RPM. So I just wanted to point out, you've got an idle mixture you can adjust and you've got an idle RPM you can adjust. Now, if you're not comfortable adjusting it, get an AMP to deal with it, uh, to set it for you, uh, do it properly so that you don't have any issues. And I'll say again, I'm not an AMP, I'm not an instructor, um, I'm an aircraft owner, and these are just some things that I've been learning along the way and hopefully will help you as an aircraft owner as well.